Cause I'm icy, wifey, haters wanna fight me. Never been the one get RP up on a white. Hey, Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to make your own ashtrays and rolling tables for under, let's say, $10. Okay. So, the first thing I did, I went to the dollar store and I picked up two frames. This one is, um,. An ashtray and this one will just be like a rolling table all right guys so the first thing we're gonna do is go on Google and type in marble background the kinds of background that I want for this smaller frame the four by six is marble and I think I'm gonna do either like a Gucci a Louis or Chanel for the big one so anyway we're gonna click on images and I like this image because it's the darkest. So we're gonna click on the website and we are going to save this image as, I already saved it. And then after you save it, you're gonna open it up and then you're gonna print it out. So after you print it out, your piece of paper should look like this. And I don't think that that is dark enough. So we will take a pencil later and shade in just the little pieces of gray that you see. So that is frame one. Now we're gonna look for frame two. All right, so when I typed in Louis Vuitton new bag design, it was just actual pictures of the bag and I don't want a picture of the bag to be the background from this. So I just typed in wallpaper and I'm really feeling this one the most. I love these bags. Like when I see the bags that have this or like the pink or the orange neon on it, I love those. But I might stick with the with the Supreme all the way in the corner right here. Just because I don't have a color printer. So like if I would get this. No, this is an actual iPhone. So like if I would have got this. Or even this one or this one, it's not going to show up. So, yeah, I'm going to get this one. I thought about it, like, why would you get the red if it's not even going to show up? So, like we did last time, you find your image. Oh, Okay, well, we can't do it that way, so we'll do it the old way. We'll click Control P if you do not have a Mac. If you have a Mac, I'm so sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Um, we're just going to click this on the corner where it says Pages. And on this corner, it is Page 2 out of 6 pages. So we're just going to type in Page 2. And then you're going to click your Enter button. And it should be printing on the side as we speak. So since this one is a little light and from far, it doesn't really look like marble, I'm going to go in with a pencil and just like these gray parts, just shade them in a little more just to make it just a tad bit darker so that when it's in this little piece, it is going to pop like nobody's business. So after I shade this in, I'll be right back. So I shaded this in as much as I honestly felt like it because it's a four by six paper and this is like eight by 10. So I was not about to shade in the entire paper, right? So you're gonna take your small frame, you're gonna take um, the plastic off of it. Then ooh, you're gonna flip it to the back and you basically just lift up like these black little things on each corner are basically securing this back wood from falling out so we're gonna lift them up i'm about to go get a knife because i'm not messing up my nails i'm gonna lift it up i'm gonna place this half because this is more of the half that had more stuff so this is the half that i colored in and i'm gonna place it in like so so just give me one minute okay i'm focused all right so this is what it looks like and don't try to put like, don't be like me and put your little thumbs on it so prints can go through. Don't be like me at all. So, with that same pencil, I want you to, like, find the space where you want the picture to be in the most. Put it in and carve it out on the back. And you're carving on the back with the pencil 
does not have to be perfect just has to be visible and cut along that so I'm gonna cut I'm gonna put it in here and I'm gonna be right right back all right y'all so this is what one finished product should look like and this is what the other finished product should look like it's so cute right so cute so guys if you guys enjoyed this give me a thumbs up because i can definitely do more diys for you guys you know i did the lip scrub thing and i'm just showing y'all like everything about me so <laughs> but guys thank you so much i love y'all and i'm about to go use these right now so i talk to you guys on the next video love you good night